Hello guys, so welcome to this playlist of Latex Hacks. And today's hack is about, you know, tables. So usually when you have a complex table with, you know, some merged cells or, you know, splitting cells or stuff, it's really, you know, hard to remember, you know, the proper coding in Latex to do that. And, you know, although, although I do this in all my research over and over again, but each time I, I like to do it, you know, I Google it, you know, copy and paste, manipulate, you know, sometimes have some bugs, try to fix, and this really consumes time, okay? Until I found, you know, this uh, website here, this table generator, in which you do the table, you design your table, just like Word or, you know, PowerPoint or Excel, and then you just click generate here, and it will generate the latex code for you, okay? So this is, you know, this example here, very similar to the default example in that, in that uh, you know, website, okay? So here is, you know, a, a three by three table. There is no edges, the edges are not, so the edges is not, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, done. So let's, you know, generate the code, it's basically the code and let's, you know, you can copy and paste the code just by highlighting all of it, all of it, or you can just, you know, copy the clipboard. And let's do it here in, you know, some, so it's me, hello. Yeah. Let's copy and paste this, and let's compile and see what would be the output. So it breaks the hello, but doesn't print the, the table. And the reason is that, uh, actually there is a table, but it's, it's it's not shown because the edges are not you know highlighted. So let's highlight all the edges and see what would be the change. So if we highlight, yeah, so if we highlight, so here is you how you highlight the edge. You can just you know uh, select all the cells and highlight all of them or just highlight one of them. So here is you know remove the highlighting and just highlight one of them. So let's generate the code with just one cell highlighted. Yeah, you have it here. So let's have this one here. You know, copy and paste. You compile, you should see one cell, here it is. So let's highlight all of it. Generate, don't forget to generate. Okay, let's copy to the clipboard. And let's have this here. TB, whatever, yeah, here it is, okay? And basically what happened is that, you know, the LATIC of this website has, has added these, you know, bars, which basically, you know, uh, vertical edges, okay? And also has added this H horizontal line, H lines, which is basically the horizontal edges. If we go back to the original or the default, this will should be you know removed and this each lines also should be removed let's generate here don't forget to generate yeah so the bars has been removed and the h line has been removed okay good i have here a complex example in which we can code together because there are more into these you know options here okay so let's try to do this example because it's really interesting and we're gonna use you know uh uh, many features in that, in that you know, uh, website here. And actually there are many websites like this. This is one of them. So let's first see what is the difference between, between what we have and the examples that we wanna do, okay? So first, the number of columns and the number of rows. So if we look here, you know, uh, we have a column, second, two, three, four, five, six, seven columns. Here we have just three columns. So you wanna add four more columns. And how we do that, it's in here. So add column to the left or to the right, or whatever you like, we need to add four of them. So we have now seven, seven columns. How many rows? So actually it's, this is, you know, you have an argument here because should we consider this as one column or uh, sorry, uh, so it should, should we consider this cell here? as two rows or one row, you can do both actually. So 
let's consider them as two rows, okay? And you can, by the way, consider them as one row, but in, in the way we implement the table or draw the table, basically, we are not we are not coding now. We are just implementing, just designing, just like PowerPoint and Word. Okay, will be different a little bit, but not that, you know, not, that, not much different. Okay, so let's consider them as two rows. So we have here one row, two row, three, four, five, six rows. We have here just three rows. So we need to add uh, three rows. So row, insert row to above or bottom, whatever you like. Okay, yeah, five and here is six. Okay, now we can go further into that. Okay. So look, first of all, you know, uh, so this is, this is remember one column, okay? And we, we also consider this as one column, another column, third, fourth, fifth, you know, uh, six and seven. seven. So uh, these three columns here, you know, you have the first row or the first three cells are merged. So, these three cells should be merged. How we merge here? Using this, you know, here is split, here is split cells and merge cells. Look at the text. So I'm gonna merge, good. Also the last three columns, also the first row has three merged cells. So these three basically, so we're gonna merge them in. Okay, good, very good. And okay. Now uh, we have, you know, the last row. So no, now for the edges, so this is a little tricky. Okay, so this one here, if I choose this, this will, you know, uh, perform all this. So if, if I choose some cell and the press or click on that button, it will it will highlight all the edges. But we don't want this. So for example, the last row cells has only one edge, which is the bottom edge, which is highlighted, not all of them, okay? And here you can just go and do Control Z to remove what you have done, okay? So how to do that? How to do basically customized edges, okay? So it's basically will be uh, using this button here. So you can just can do all the edges at once. Just highlight all the table and just click here. Yeah, this will split as you see. It splits the cells into you know into individual cells, so you can do the highlighting for individuals. So let's start by the bottom row, this row here. So these cells here, these seven cells in the bottom line, these seven cells, has only the bottom edge is highlighted. So as you see, you can. Whenever you hover over the bottom edge, it will highlight by red. So you can just click. Here it is. Click, click, click. Good. Also, uh, from the bottom, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So these seven cells also has, you know, uh, highlighted edges, the, 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 top, the top edge, which is this one here. And finally, the first row, all the cells in the first row, which is now three cells, one, two, three, also has, you know, this guy is highlighted. Good, now, this cells all this these three merged cells has its bottom edge is also highlighted, which is this one, and also the one the next, which is this. Okay, good. To do is uh, text or add text to any cell, just double click in, in the cell. So here is tall or whatever equal to you, and this is single, it's written in uh, latex with. So it is in V and the real, real error, whatever it's written there. And define in V again. You can move with tape between cells. Real error again. 
list column, rig, mv, you know, any number, whatever. I don't care now about numbers. You know, guys, this is not the topic. Whatever numbers here, it's just about numbers. Okay. 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 So that's basically, you know, how to add the text. Now, finally, uh, currently in this implementation, these two cells are two separate cells, but here they look like they are merged. Also, if we just keep, keep it like this, it's okay because the edge here is not highlighted, so it will not appear, so they will look like just one cell. But, you know, you can just uh, highlight them and merge them together using that guy here, okay? Now, the last part is to generate. Let's generate the code for you, okay? Copy this guy, and let's now add it here. And yeah, so good thing about this software or this, you know, uh, tool or whatever online tool is that it gives you suggestions. Uh, so for this code to work, you should include this package here. So this is, comes out, you know, the, the out. So you should just copy this guy and use it. Okay, that's very simple. Now here it is. It's, it will not, uh, Here it is. Of course, the numbers here, I just ignores, ignored it to add the correct numbers. I just add any numbers, but you have the ideas, okay? You have the basic idea here, guys. So uh, this is it, you know, you see guys, the code is very complex here, you know, I usually consume some time to understand, you know, I usually forgot, but using this, you know, uh, online tool here, it's really, you know, very simple, very convenient very convenient to do, to do the tables. Okay, guys, that was it for this hack. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.